Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to create a decision model using decision table, wherein we were checking the grade of a student studying in a particular class and a section. So we have covered this defined decision table input, we have defined the output, configured the rules, and today we are going to learn how to configure hit policy for decision table. Here there are a list of uh, policies which are uh, abbreviated like uh, UA. We will check one by one. Unique only one rule can match. As you can see over over here, uh, it says the hit policy is U. You can click on this and change the policy uh, at any time. If we test this, click on start test, we will get one rule matches and the output is unique here. In case of any, multiple rules can match but all matching rules must have the same output. So let me go back here. I will delete this pass so instead of grades we will put marks over here raj got 90 marks abid got 80 marks now i will add one more row over here again that is student is raj studying in a class first standard a section and he secured 90 marks now we'll go to this test click on start test now single output desired table with hit policy of unique has multiple hits now uh, uh, this is violating what we can do is uh, we have to go to this hit policy from you we have to select a what the rule says is multiple rules sketch match but all matching rules must have the same output let's check uh, if it worked it has saved automatically click on this test click on start test as you see we don't get that error anymore our result output is 90 so we'll go for the next rule uh, hit policy sorry yeah, it's f the first hit policy is used when multiple rules can match the input. The first hit by rule order is returned. Okay, we will keep this as is. Instead of 90 marks, the second Raj got will make it as 89. In this case, uh, we have to get 90 in a output. Click on this start button test. As you see, uh, we got 90. That is our first match rule will return. We will check the next rule hit policy. It is P. What it says is the priority hit policy is used when multiple rules can match the input. The matching rule with highest order priority is returned. The priority is defined by the order of output values in the decision table output header column. Let's check if this works with the current set of data. Click on play button. Click on start test. Decision table with hit policy of priority has no allowed values defined for output 90 and 89. For this what we have to do is we have to go back to this decision table click on this uh, hyphen over here and we have to define uh, the values as a grade check is a text field uh, we have to enter the values which are in the priority like 89 90 will be in the first priority next is 89 next is 80 close this go to run button click on this and we got the first in the priority 90 if we change the order like from 90 to 89 will be top in priority and 90 is at the end since uh, we have the rule match for raj now we have to get 89 as you see we got 89 next in the list is uh, uh, this multiple hit that is c multiple rules can match outputs are returned as an arbitrarily ordered list let's see this let me go back to here and uh, click the c click on ok and uh, we'll go to test and start test as you see uh, we got the list here like 90 and 89 for raj next is policy is collect of sum that is c plus multiple rules can match the sum of the output is returned we have to change this hit policy to c plus that is sum once it's saved click on the plus uh, click on test start test non-number argument to uh, bulletin function sum 90 so how you can resolve this we can edit this grade check output type we can make it as number click on save here we can go and make it as number then we have to change this to number over here from string to number similarly for this from string to number once uh, all all this are uh, saved as numbers we can go to this test button and click on start as we uh, got the sum of our uh, marks that is uh, 90 plus 89 uh, this is fine now collect minimum multiple rules can match the smallest output value is returned go back here click on this policy change to this less than click on the test button click on start test lower in value that is 89 we, we, we got in the output so next one here is multiple rules can match the largest output value is returned select uh, this largest value click on ok now uh, we have to get this 90 in the response 
as you see we got 90 and the last one is collect count of multiple rules can match the count is written change the policy here to count click on ok now when we test we have to get the count as 2 because we have 2 Raj uh, studying in first standard A section click on start test as we see we got 2 I will share the documentation link in description check out the link for more details uh, we, I have explained all those uh, hit policies 